district, the leading Colac in district who uh, have gone in at half time with a scoreline of 5 8 38. Up by Hockey raises the ball to commence the third and vital quarter of football here at Wichersee between Geelong and District and Colac and District. The bounce now, a good one, sees an opportunity now for Geelong. Breaking clear there was number 22 in Johnny Cousins. Lost the footy, it's gone out wide now to half forward. And uh, again, pack of players have formed. Geelong now come out of that. Some hand passing, good team football. Allows the run now, I think you'll find it was David Cook who speared the ball back into the centre of the corridor here at Wichersee. And it looks like Cousins with the footy. Goes short. Craig Eves in front. Just steady proceedings down now, Craig Eves. Opportunity for the Geelong side. Oh, lovely mark over the back of the pack. Take it for the Geelong district side by the Thompson Tiger. Terry Dan Curvis. Did it well, didn't he? And, uh, well, he's obviously feeling the cold there, Ron. He's got the short sleeve jumper pulled over the long sleeved one. What a vital goal this will be at the start of the third quarter. The championship quarter, he stabs at the ball a little bit, but it's got enough carry. It's certainly got enough accuracy. And then Curvis kicks what will be his first goal of the day, the Geelong and District's first goal in the third quarter. They open up the gate immediately. The scoreboard changed by a point either way at half time. It was 5 8 38 Colac to 7 7 49 Geelong. Well, it now moves to 8 7 55 for Geelong, 5 8 38 for Colac. On the Taco Bill, third quarter scoreboard, Taco Bill, top of the hill there in Marble Street, Geelong. Uh, for all that lovely Mexican food, Taco Bill's the way to go. Well, we might be looking for a bit of that after the game to warm us up. Back in the centre of the ground, Lowry gets the tap away. Well sharked by Cousins, though. Sends Geelong a district into attack. Colac stream out of defence, though, and the big long kick down the ground from the boot of Harrison towards half forward. No mark. Cousins there again. Handball back out of the open. Socket off the ground, down ground, and the mark will be taken by Craig Eves. Quickly lays a handball off, and away go the Geelong District football lead towards that left forward pocket. Once again, Nan Curvis can't control the ball. Lays a heavy tackle on the Colac boy in black. Umpire calls play on, though, and they run it over and out for throwing. Left forward pocket, Geelong deep in attack. Good football, Adam Prasilovic there moving the ball down. Had quite a number of possessions since coming on to the young 17-year-old as we wait now on the boundary umpire. Bring the ball back into play some 20 metres from the Geelong District goal. And it's Lowry over the back getting the tap that time and Coley can run it out of defence. Well, they're going to get a free kick anyway, are they not? They're not. The umpire is saying that Mark Christian was in control of the ball and I reckon that's a little bit tough, boys. Ronnie, you're saying he threw the ball. Yes, the umpire suggested that it was a double-hander attempt, uh, not a punch, and... Uh, well, they've been penalised. He was making the play for mine. Well, certainly, <laughs> certainly a little hard, umpire Osborne, on the defender for Colac on that occasion. Opportunity, Troy Hovey. It's a tough uh, shot here. He's kicking from 40 metres, 45 degree angle. That's where he was running, Dale. Yeah, that's where he, he did start off that way, and uh, I think he was like the wind tried to do a little bit of work for him, but it didn't eventuate. Well, Troy Hovey, well offline, uh, early stages of this third and vital quarter. Geelong and District playing Colac and District here at Wichelsea. Two minute mark of the third term. Sees now that Geelong, they lead by 12 points. And menacing dark clouds around the ground now as Hines kicks out from fullback. Great kick towards his captain and coach in Finn. Quickly gives it across to Michael Parker and Colac run the ball in towards uh, that left half forward area but let themselves down with disposal that time. And uh, it was Harrison there that couldn't find the handle on the ball. Geelong, uh, well, running numbers in defence, but they're going to give away a free kick here, and it will go to the Colac and District Football League on the outer side of the ground, and uh, to take the ball over there, and with the big kick down the ground that time is from the boot of Michael Harrison towards full forward. Henry's back on the ground, thumped away by Randoni. At the fall of the ball, Geelong try and break away. Unsuccessful at this point in time. Is Jeffrey Parker tackle without the ball? Indeed, Stuart Scott certainly is, and he will take a free kick. About 45 metres out from goal, almost directly in front, and Colek need to answer the first goal as quickly as possible, Dale, to just to bring the uh, equilibrium back together again. Yes, yeah, so they wouldn't want to let Geelong get a couple of goals and get sneak away with that... Uh three or four goal leagues it is hard to bring back and especially if you get some confidence up with one another it makes uh, a great deal of difference to the team's uh, performance well it's going to drop a meter or two short in the square but the central umpire is right on the spot here and he's picked a free kick <laughs> out and uh well the boy's not real happy about here and well, colic's going to be the recipient <laughs> of it yeah i'll be interested to have a look at the replay of that on video that's gets videos of course because uh 
Gee whiz, the ball had just barely touched the player's hands, the whistle sounded. Obviously someone was being held from behind, which we didn't see. It doesn't matter though, because uh, it's allowed uh, the Colac player to waltz in and kick a very handy goal, the big ruckman, Steve Mead, who, uh, well, bridges that gap by six points. I said 12 points earlier, it's now 12 points. Earlier it was 18 point lead to the Geelong side. Colac now, they're back in the hunt. Well, they're back in the hunt a little bit. They're going to have to work uh, quite a lot harder though. Indeed, as we've pointed out, the championship quarter, the third quarter. And uh, on our scoreboard, indeed, the Taco Bill scoreboard, it is 6 8. 44 to the Colac District Football League, 8 8 56 to the Geelong and District Football League. And the ball brought back to the centre, and this time uh, it will be umpire Osborn with the ball to bounce it in the centre of the ground. And a quick break and a goal here. Could see either side either come back in or take control of it again. Ruckman negate each other somewhat that time as the ball spills free. Colic get a chance through Gibbons to get the ball out towards centre wing. The pace is on. Leading in the race for the ball is Mark Christian. Tackled without the ball and will get the free kick. Yeah, played it well there, Warren, too. Tapped the ball forward. Knew he was under pressure and was held without the football, Mark Christian. He goes short to the centre of the ground and fights Stephen Finn, the captain coach. Looks up the ground to a lead at right half forward. The ball didn't quite carry. Working in there now hard at the ground level for the Colag side was Murray Williamson who's been moved up the ground as umpire hockey comes in and said look we'll have a bounce down right in front of the smoker stand here and you'll see some 65 metres from the Colac and district goal and it is hockey with the bounce not a bad one either that time Mead gets the tap and the free kick will go Colac's way and the boy to take the free kick will be Andrew Bazell from Apollo Bay. Right foot kick in towards a Henry lead at half forward. A little bit too much carry over the back. Jeffrey Parker was crumbing. Michael Parker must give away a free kick for throwing the ball. Umpire calls play on. Well, it may well be to the Geelong and District Football League's advantage. As thumping it down the ground as Reynolds towards half forward. That takes a mark. Yes, and uh, undisciplined football warrant. And indeed it was uh, Murray Williamson to lay that uh, undisciplined tackle on him. And uh, indeed, that time right on the spot was umpire hockey. And he pulls him. Well, I think it's a fairly short 50 metres, just the same. He's going to add a little bit of degree of difficulty by leaving him 15 metres out. Yes, but still, let's not take the credit away from uh, Simon Vack, uh, Dale, because it was a lovely mark. Yeah, good, strong mark. And I think if Geelong can afford the luxury of playing him there with uh, young Reynolds in the ruck, then I think Geelong have got something really good to aim for there. He's pretty mobile, takes a good grab. And obviously, from that kick, he's not a bad, uh, not a bad effort either. That uh, was a uh, great effort. Great effort. Well, Simon Beck, uh, Warren has waltzed in and uh, kicked a very handy goal. And it's his first goal of the game, too, for Simon Vack on our Taco Bill scoreboard. Colac lament on 6 8 44, if you like. They don't certainly move uh, forward, but the Geelong and District Football League do. They just open up the gate a little bit now to 9 8 62, and once again, it's a three clear goal break. And uh, that's what they were able to take the initiative with at the start of the third quarter. Yes, time will tell us. Umpire Osborne now uh, ready to get play underway again. We've been travelling eight minutes of this third and vital quarter here at Witchell C, where we see the Geelong District, uh, their 18 point leaders. The ball now picked up by uh, Colac as they go into attack. The loose ball at half forward sees David Cook there and dispossess his opponent in Stuart Scott. Good football, David Cook. The uh, Matawari captain coach, and uh, we'll see the ball now to be thrown in. Member side centre wing. Right in front of the comedy position here as the ball now spills free. We see Vazil working hard there for the Colag side. Kicked off the ground by Peter Bird. Now the sprinters are on. The racehorses. First there, O'Leary for the Geelong side. On the right foot. Clicks it quickly under pressure. Hovey in front of his opponent there in Russ Scott. Gets around him. Kicks it up there to the direction of the big fella, Simon Vack, who takes a great mark. Pops it over the top. They've got the run down the ground. Handball back in borders from Nan Curvis. Opportunity to kick a goal for the Geelong and District. Football League. The pressure just at the last moment by the Colac and District League sees the kick go offline and uh, just see if I can pick up the boy that uh, whose boot it did travel off uh, of. Craig Eves uh, under pressure it there was. and uh, running down the ground uh, created the opportunity but uh, good defensive football there by Colac. Yeah they did they worked hard there. They There was almost nearly a certain goal there to Geelong side. They worked hard at it but it was a, oh, in the same effort there was a great build up by the Geelong players. 
Taco Bill scoreboard 9-9, nine, nine, indeed 63 for the Geelong and District League. Colac a 6 8 44. One sees that ga gap opening up a little bit more now as the Geelong and District Football League have the ball on the outer side of the ground. Bird thumps it in towards full forward, but Hines has been a consistent player all day, used his bulk and his strength, and he's really beaten Boothroyd pointlessly. Certainly has, as we see that Colac now firing through the agency of Gibbons, who's done a great job for his side this afternoon. Looks out there for Christian, but he's beaten by Young, presumably. Cabbage, good football from the youngster, good vision found. Hovey at centre winger. Hovey now goes to the corridor, looks for his big teammate there in Reynolds. He was well collared. The loose ball now picked up by Stuart Scott on the left foot, punts it up to the centre half forward. Overrunning the football there was Parker, likewise for the Geelong side. Number 11 in Cornwall sees the loose ball now kicked up to centre half forward. Opportunity Colac with some good quick hand passing finds Holt who chips it over the top. Good unselfish football, good vision from the young player Anthony Holt has found his teammate. The big fella in uh, Stephen Mead. An opportunity here, Warren, from 40 metres. Yes, indeed. He's kicked a nice goal at the start of this third quarter. One in the first quarter, and his kick for goal is accurate. Goal umpire just fades away a little to the left, but Stephen Mead sneaks it through, keeps the Collican District League in touch with his third goal of the game. And uh, we've travelled, let's have a look, some 10 minutes into the uh, third quarter. We often say the championship uh, quarter... Those first 15 or 20 minutes are very important. And at the moment, Colic just hanging in there. Taco Bill scoreboard, Colic 7850, Geelong and District 9963. Yeah, another good build up there. It's, uh, as I said, when they come down the ground, they very, do look very dangerous. And uh, when you've got an option again, I suppose a big bloke playing at centre forward like Mead, you can obviously go to him a fair bit because he can kick a ball well. Certainly can. No exception on that occasion. Back to the centre. Umpire Osmond's bounce down a beauty. Reynolds gets it down to where Priscilla Cabbage got a cruel bounce and showing some strength for the Colax. I think you'll find it was Finn. He's loose ball now up to half forward. Opportunity for Brenda Nain being moved up the ground. Gives it back to his teammate who under pressure kicks quickly there, Stewie Scott. And I think you'll find it's just found the boundary line. Deep into the forward pocket. Colax and District doing the attacking. And we've been travelling 11 and a half minutes of this third and Final quarter of football here this afternoon at Winchelsea. And young Mead in the ruck this time. He's up against Reynolds. And they push and shove. Henry comes over the top, takes it out of the air. Handball to Hickey. Hickey snaps at goal from 25 metres out. Enough carry, enough accuracy. Oh, oh. They clap it down there. Hickey's kicked oh, oh. a major. And Colic and District Football League are back in town again. Great snap from Michael Hickey. And uh, some 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes travelled into the third quarter. A goal the Colic and District League needed. They needed to follow up the previous one there, Dale. And they did it. Did it successfully. That's why they've put the pressure back on the Geelong side now to, uh, to come out and start working again from the centre of the the ground which is pretty evident whoever's been kicking the goals has been getting the ball from the centre and it's uh, made a hell of a difference in there. Certainly has Taco Bill third tour to the scoreboard. Collegiate District 8 eight fifty six. Trail Geelong District 9 nine sixty three. Seven points in it. Well, Hickey sends the Collegiate and District League forward again to Michael Parker. He's off on the left foot in towards centre half forward. Mead almost marks again. Knocked away from him at the last moment by Andrews. He's quick to follow it up and get a kick down ground. Finds Bird. Bird lays it off quickly down towards centre wing. Mark taken down there. Is it not by Nankervis over the top? The to Jones going past. They've got uh, the field broken up down ground as the rain starts to fall again. In towards the right. Forward oh, 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 oh. from behind the juggling act he was leaning over the top of his man with the right hand to the left hand back to the right hand he had control of it and the mark was paid and he'll shoot for goal now on a fairly difficult angle 70 degrees about 15 meters out from the boundary line 45 meters out from goal drop punt will fall short and the, the Colac boys outnumber the Geelong boys about three to one there and ultimately Black will run it over and out of bounds for throw in left forward pocket Geelong deep in attack Great forward thrust there, coming from hard back, half back there through Bird and uh, Eves, but unfortunately unable to capitalise. Good defence there, Colac. Ball back into play. Overrunning the football, Boothroyd, as we see now, breaking clear for the Colac side. It was good football. I think you'll find it was Finn down in defence. Goes to half back. Now the loose ball, unable to be charked by Christian. Sees working hard for Geelong there, Johnny Cousins at the base of the back. Good work, Johnny Cousins. Uh, forces the ball up now um, by Osmond, right on the job. Uh, some 35 metres from the Geelong District goal. And Steve Bordenet, the big man on the ground. Paul Owen also on the ground for Colic as they try and give themselves a little bit more mobility. The bounce favours Reynolds and he gets the tap that time. They can't take advantage of it. Michael Parker gets a quick kick down the ground. Hickey's been dynamite in the last seven 
seven or eight minutes. Another possession towards half forward. Harrison's coming out and taps it along in front. Young Mead there, and Mead tries to just tap it back in board. You could see a teammate in there behind him, Scott, but he really wasn't giving him any assistance, and it was good, strong play that time from Eves to make sure the ball was over and out of bounds for throwing. They'll take it in the ruck. Mead was looking for a free kick, but wasn't on. Hickey once again. Must be his sixth possession in uh, as many minutes in towards the right half forward flank. He kicks it. He was looking that time for Paul Owen, the new Colac and district player on the ground. But Geelong run it over and out of bounds. Andrews at the bottom there will have a throw in right half forward. Rodney Andrews, yes. The centre half back doing a great job for Geelong and district. Ball now brought back into play. We see over the top thumping the ball some 20 metres towards Geelong's goal was... Uh, Mario ran down, but at ground level, Finn, he gets another possession up there to the full forward position. But again, great work there from Middleton. Kicks it down the corridor. It's taken the mark. It was touched off the boot, said the umpire. Simon, in fact, didn't worry because he had support by Peter Bird. Good football from the youngster and finds Nan Curvis at half forward. Drives it long and towards the forward pocket. Cockrell's there, the go guy that kicked the three goals early at the start of the second quarter. Dispossessed of it this time, though, is Holt. Thumps it away from him over and out of bounds for a throw, but the Colic defence under a heap of pressure that time, Dale. Yes, they certainly are, Dale. Yeah, the Geelong team have uh, really lifted their work late up and down the middle of the ground, and they now are starting to run down the middle of the ground, which is obviously the shortest way home. Yes, certainly is. Ball on the outer side of the ground present time, 50 metres from the Geelong and District goal. The ball sharked out of the uh, ruck contest there by the big fella, Bordadet. As we see now that the ball up there to the forward line, Boothroyd was being held, and I think, yes, the big fella in uh, Dale Hines was caught on that occasion and the umpire right on the job. Yeah, well, I guess both players have been playing it fairly hard. There was probably a fair bit of uh, pushing and shoving going on and uh, Hines was doing it at the wrong time. Yes, yes, good call. Warren umpire Osborne right on the job. Opportunity now, Rod Booth right his second kick. He's kicked one point to date. Yeah, he's only about 20-25 uh, metres out from goal. Normally a very reliable kick at goal. The umpire sits under it. Yes, he says he has kicked a major into the third quarter. His first major of the day, and one wouldn't have come here today thinking it was going to take him that long. Indeed, he's travelled, what, 16 minutes into this third quarter before he's been able to put his first major on the board. Let's have a look at the Taco Bill scoreboard. And uh, just waiting for Noel to send it up on the screen here. We might uh, ask the scoreboard for a bit of assistance while we're waiting for that to come up. 10-9, 69, the Geelong and District League go to. And, uh, yes, thank you very much, Noel. Colic are on 8-8-56. 13 points in it, Dale. And uh, Geelong, as you've mentioned, doing very well, using the centre corridor to uh, their advantage. Yeah, I think if uh, Geelong continue, I think Boothroyd's got to get away from the pushing and shoving with the bloke at fullback because he's a big, strong bloke. Get into his normal game, which is the leading. Certainly is. Big thumping kick into the forward line for Colick. Opportunity for Jeff Parker. Taken off him by Nevada Cornwall. Out goes Nevada to the outer side of the ground. He was looking for a teammate over there in O'Leary that time, but not on. Colick at the kick. Quickly transfer it down. Ground off the boot of Paul Owen towards half forward. No mark. Crummers wanted at the fall of the ball. Both sides going in relentlessly hard. Mead in there. And uh, Priscibal Cabbage also comes out with the ball, but just then uh, flicks it back to the umpire, Hockey, who is in control of the ball and will bounce it at half forward. About uh, 65, 70 metres out from the Colac goal. They need a quick answering goal. Mead gets a very good tap that time down the throat of his teammate. Down ground in Harrison. Harrison into the pocket, puts Colac under pressure. Jeffrey Parker quickly gets it back towards Gibbons, though. Gibbons on the right boot, back into the square. Henry, an opponent, Randoni knocked the ball to ground. Neither can take a clear possession. Ooh. Will there be a free kick here, Ronnie Brain? <laughs> yes, there was. Paul Middleton a little bit overzealous on that occasion. I think a little unlucky, Warren. Slipped at the crucial time when he made the tap and has ridden his opponent in Jeff Parker to the ground. Jeffrey Parker, he's kicked two goals to his personal tally. An opportunity here, 30 metres from goal, slight angle. He'll kick it. How about that for a prediction? Not a problem. Straight through the centre, great goal. Jeffrey Parker kicks his third at the 18-minute mark of this third and vital quarter of football. Now moves the Taco Bill quarter. Scoreboard to 9-6, 60 points, Colac and District. Sorry, 9-8-62 it should be. Uh, Geelong and District, 10-9-69, a seven-point margin, gentlemen.
Yeah, they uh, neither team seem to be able to get that break that they really need, I think. It's a bit of a game where one team kicks a goal and the next one's responding very quickly. And I think the team that can probably put two or three together will be uh, probably the winners on the day. I think we've got to say at the moment just the same colour, like a hang in there. And uh, the Geelong on District Football can get that running game really firing. It might well trouble Colic towards the end of this quarter as Geelong take it into attack in numbers that time. And then Curvis at the half forward was attempting to knock the ball out in the open. Mark Christian held the ball in that area and ultimately umpire Osmond had no option but to come in and bounce the ball. And they'll do it right on the centre square line. Good bounce also. Borden that in the ruck. They negate each other, the two big men that time. Quick kick out of the Packers from the boot of Eves towards half forward. Colick in the way. Quick uh, work that time from uh, uh, Black across towards Holt. Holt can swing it back in towards the centre of the ground. No mark at the fall of the ball. Uh, Paul Owen can get a kick away. Gives it across quickly to Hickey. Hickey in towards half forward. He's had a big quarter, Michael Hickey, as Henry and his opponent push and shove. Henry puts it down the throat, though, of a teammate that time snapping at goal. And is it not this time, David Henry, that's in actual fact got the kick away down ground that time. The boys have got the camera on Jeffrey Parker, but I'm quite sure it's come off the boot of David Henry that time. And uh, I'll put David down for his second goal of the match there, Ronnie. Two great minds think alike again. One on Richie's as we see that, uh, well, a real ball game has developed here at Bridgel C. Uh, Colac and District, only one point tra trailing now. Geelong and District, uh, Dale Smith. Yeah, neither team wants to lie down at the moment. Uh, as I said, they've, they've worked extremely hard. Both teams have lifted their work rate extremely since the first half of football and I think it's a matter of perseverance and the team that can persevere the longest will uh, win the game. Back to the centre. Reynolds now on the ball for Geelong. Gets the ball down too, but it's well shark. Great aggressive football, Gibbons. Very impressed with that youngster's performance here this afternoon. But on this occasion, his left foot kick has found the big arms of Peter Bird, who wastes no time. Kicks quickly up to half forward. Well, did he waste the ball? Could he have run off, had a bounce, and kicked long into the corridor instead of going for the lead on the flank? I don't know, Dale. It's been. difficult. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to see from up here, but as I said, that's his option he chose. He went with it his first instinct, so that's probably the best way to go. Yeah. Yes, the first option is the best option, gentlemen, as we see. It may not be always the, the best one, but it's uh, at least the ball is moving, and that's what they've got to do here as we see it moving quite well at the present time. Back to O'Leary. Good vision from the youngster. Went back to the corridor. A little bit too well weighted for Daryl Jones. It went over his head. Strong work there, Boothroyd. Likewise, Hines. He well in the battle on that occasion, the big fella. Well done. Goes short, and uh, I think you'll find breaking clear there. The big uh, strong player was Finn. He went to his teammate who couldn't control the ball and has allowed Geelong now into attack. Good football there from Cornwall. Goes to where Cockrell traps it at half forward. Lovely skills. Went backwards in actual fact, Warren, and saw the lead there and the big chest of Rodney Boothroyd. Well, sometimes you've got to go backwards to go forward, and he did it pretty well that time, and Boothroyd gets a chance here, but take nothing away from Hines. It was inspirational football there 90 seconds before when he took two on and beat them both. And, uh, well, he's looking a little sore at the moment holding that left leg there, and it won't be his fault if Boothroyd scores a major here. Perfect opportunity. He's only uh, had, we reckon, about two kicks for the game for 1-1, one, one, and that uh, first goal come at the 16-minute mark. Drop punt kick from goal. It is going to sneak in as the goal umpire goes away to his left-hand side, but he says, Rod Boothroyd, you've managed to sneak it in. 22 minutes into the quarter, Boothroyd kicks his second goal of the game, and the Geelong and District Football League just get a little bit of breathing space again. On the Taco Bill scoreboard, they move to 11.975. The CDFL are on 10.868. And just at the moment, Geelong have got the answers, Dale. Yeah, they seem to come up with the answers at the right time. And they played by Ian Cockrell's good, good play there. He, he really realised that he didn't have an option up forward, so he went backwards. And as I said, Rod Boothroyd can kick a ball from 60, 70 yards out. No problem at all. Umpire Osmond with the ball back in the centre of the ground. 75 lead, 68. Geelong in front late in the third quarter. Thump forward there that time by Owen for the Colic and District League towards half forward. Colic in the van. Socket off the ground by Mead. Chance for the running players to go on the ball. Henry quick hands gives the ball across that time to a teammate going past in Harrison. Harrison slams away a goal from the left forward pocket and Michael Harrison's kicked the goal. It's goal for goal, Dale. Yeah, it's a good football here now at, uh, at Wigglesley Oval. It, uh, 
players are just so desperate to make sure that they don't lose track of what's going on out there, that they want to get back into the game. And this quick reply has uh, come at the right time for the Colac side. Indeed, let's have a look at the Taco Bill scoreboard. A point in it again. The Geelong District Football League are 11 9 75. Colic are 11 8 74. And we're starting to all head towards red time. Nearly 24 minutes gone in the quarter. And it could well be important that who's going to get that last goal just on the three quarter time siren to set themselves up for a last quarter charge home. Certainly is, Warren. 24 minutes of this third and vital quarter of football. A real ball game. One point the margin still. Colega District trailing Geelong and District on the Targo Bill scoreboard. Bounce in the centre of the ground. Bordenet gets the tap and sends Colac forward towards Hickey. Dispossessed to the ball. Geelong desperate at the fall of the ball. Jones tries to hand ball out, but that man Hickey's in the way again. On the right boot, Hickey in towards right half forward. Doesn't sit too well, but the Colac boy that time, and Scott does it well, gets it back in board. Picked up, though, by Priscilla Cabbage that time, and he kicks it down towards left half forward. Hines is there with Boothroyd, knocked to the ground. Finn or Crummett, left boot, the captain and coach, drives it back in towards the centre of the ground. The Colac boys don't talk. Parker and Mood spoil each other. Jones can pick it up. Handball over the top. Have a bounce, son, and he does as off goes O'Leary. Steady's on the right boot on the 50-metre line. Will go to the edge of the 10-metre square. Should have been Ooh. marked at the back of the pack by Brendan Manane, and he's able to run it through from behind. Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Certainly was. Brendan Manane can thank your lucky stars that Simon Vack wasn't quite quick enough there to think to get his boot to ball after he dropped that chest mark and uh, a rush point. A little bit of good fortune goes a long way sometimes. It's keeping the game close. Into red time, the kick in from fullback, uh, short across from Williamson to Finn. Finn gives it out towards halfback, and Colac can clear away through Manane. Finds Russell Scott, handballs back in board to Michael Parker. Doesn't kick, decides to try and run around the man on his mark, and then appears to slip at the crucial moment. Gives a quick handball off. Colac trapped close to the boundary line, will get out of trouble this time. Bordnet can float it in towards half forward where Mead will take a mark. Almost at centre wing, runs into left half forward with a big left foot kick. Henry from behind can't mark. Geelong can crumb it at the four. Knocked over the top by Paul Middleton that time. It takes the pressure off just a little bit and it's run over and out of bounds for a throw in. So Geelong defence under pressure but they stood up to it not too bad. Yes certainly and uh, Ian Cockrell there some, using some strength also just assisting in defence and, uh, and it was really needed too because Colac uh, really were working that ball rather quickly down to the forward line. It's in the half forward flank position. Members side uh, of Eastern Oval here at Bridge will see ball back into play. A number of players around the ball and uh, has forced umpire Osborne from Geelong and District to uh, umpire's league uh, to bounce down. And he'll do that about uh, 35 metres out from goal. Mead gets the tap, but Geelong should be able to clear it away out of defence. Good kick down the ground that time, was it not from the boot of Cook in towards centre wing? Sits, though. Colic can pick it up through Black, across to Murray Williamson. Now he's got plenty of time to pick his options out. David Henry gives him one in the pocket. Jeffrey Parker's at the back, but Henry stands rock solid at the front of the pack and marks. 35 metres out, kicks to a man in the square. Two against one, Geelong get back quickly, and they rush it through from behind. And there was some danger bell ringing there. Yeah, it was a good move by the, uh, David Henry there. He, mo he saw the option in the goal square. He moved it in quickly, but to Geelong's credit, they got back to the defended. Two players there, which is good, and they put the ball through for a rush behind. Because Henry was more than capable of kicking the distance. He proved that earlier on down the other end of the ground. Well, okay, kick in from fullback. Yes, Darren McNamara it is bringing the ball back into play. 27 and a half minutes of travel of this third and vital quarter. There's, uh, well... One point separating these two sides as we see a great mark taken there from David Cook for the Geelong District side at members side halfback flank. What a great mark. That's almost a taco bill grab of the day, but I better not put them away. It's actually like... the painter's pot mark of the it day. It is the painter's pot yes, mark of the day. We'll have to mark that one down. Sends it in towards the centre of the ground. And Curvis marks towards half forward. Boothroyd thumps it off the hands of the pack. O'Leary crumbs it, drops it in the pocket. Cockrell stays down and can kick a goal here if he can pick it up. Can't find the handle on the ball. Eventually does. Should have kicked with his left boot. Has he not got a left side to his body? He gives it to Eves, and Eves does it for him and kicks a goal for the Geelong District Football League. And I thought maybe Daly just hung on to it for a little bit too long, but they got away with he it. He got the staggers there in the first part of it, but he uh, had good composure and he handballed the ball across to uh, to Eves there, and when, in the end, it turned out to be an easy goal for them. Well, it certainly is. As, uh, well, we've moved the scoreboard now. That is the Taco Bill scoreboard. scoreboard. Yes, it is. On top of the hill there at Bruble Street, Geelong. Uh, 
a great feed too down there at Taco Bills. Geelong and District 12 10 82. They're back to seven point leaders over Colac and District 11 9 75. Osmond with the ball back in the centre. Bounces and Geelong get the tap forward that time. Can they make something of it here? Trying to bounce out into the open. Now, is there a. Uh, oh, well, yeah, the captain, uh, Daryl Jones, doesn't agree with that decision, but Michael Hickey likes it and he gets the free kick. Off he goes. He must have had 10 possessions this quarter, Hickey. The ball doesn't carry all that well in towards half forward, but it is marked by a teammate that time in Harrison. Swings it across towards left half forward, looking for Parker and Black over there. Neither can mark at the fall of the ball. Geelong attempt to run it out of defence. Not successful at the moment. Jeffrey Parker's there. Quick soccer off the ground. Comes across to Paul Owen. Owen over the top. Chance for Kolek here. Running in towards goal off the boot of Michael Harrison. He can sink a major and he does, Ronnie Bray. Oh, oh, oh. And there's nothing in it again. Yes, great goal. Michael Harrison kicks his second and Colac and District's 12th goal for Goldale Smythe. Yeah, it's uh, again, we, you know, we look at the same situation. Goals are being scored at either end pretty quickly. One goal gets a team, a team gets a goal, sorry. And uh, the, the reply comes, you know, almost within the next 30 seconds. So it is, it's good play. Well, perhaps we should say ring the bell now. Let's make it tight for the start of the last quarter. Yes, yeah, certainly, Warren. We've travelled 29 and a half minutes of uh, football on this third and vital term. One point separated these two great combines. The Colac Combine challenging the Geelong Combine here this afternoon. And uh, the two umpires uh, from their respective leads... Also, we'll see them bounce back in the centre of the ground late in the quarter. Quick hands that time. See Colick into attack off the boot of Hickey yet again in towards the pocket. He's looking for Jeffrey Parker, but pushed over and out of bounds that time by Paul Middleton, who uh, under pressure performed well for the Geelong and District Football League in that little piece of play. Very close to three-quarter time. A point in it. Geelong and District in front on the taco. Bill scoreboard, but Colick deep in attack about five metres from the behind post. Boundary umpire throws it in. Henry in the ruck brings it to the ground, then goes back in hard after the tap out though. Geelong and District can make something of this quickly across to Hovey. Hovey hand passes further afield and out of defence. A big kick from Andrews towards centre wing. Bounces free. Who's got the pace? The Colec boy and Stewie Scott has, but he's caught. Gets it away. Michael Parker comes back quickly to it. Picks it up with pace. Runs away. Kicking towards the forward pocket. Looking for Jeffrey Parker. And uh, Robbie Andrews there also, but it's over and out of bounce for a throw in. Michael Parker should have done better with that uh, disposal. On the full. Well, well, he had plenty of time to steady, but unfortunately for Colac and District, he's mucked it up, as we see now, an opportunity for the Geelong side. Kick it long out to the outer side, half-back flank position, but there's all Colac. They go short there, looks for Mead, but the big fella was well knocked away from him by Angie Skoko as Geelong now go into attack, and they break clear through the Dasher. Peter Bird. And look at that kick. Boothroyd leads out. You might have said he perhaps hadn't initially dropped it onto the boot all that well, but surely right on the three-quarter time siren here. Boothroyd's kick might well be the last one of the quarter, and he'll kick from almost right on the 50-metre line. And from what I've seen of him so far, he's certainly capable of kicking the distance. Distance will not be a problem here this afternoon for Rodney Boothroyd. Accuracy could be taking his time about this very important shot at goal. And Hines has done well to keep him to two for the game. But if he kicks this one, it'll be his third for the quarter in a crucial championship third quarter. Stands on the 50-metre line. Distance, as Ronnie said, was no problem at all. But the accuracy was just not quite there. And Boothroyd's offline for a minor score. And it could have been a handy goal right on, time, uh, right on the three-quarter time siren. And yeah. we'll check the Taco Bill scoreboard. Certainly, Warren. Uh Rod uh, Boothroyd, two goals to his personal tally here this afternoon. Taco Bell scoreboard, Geelong and District, 12-11. 83, they lead Collega District 12-9-81. And it was Williamson to Michael Parker, and then Michael Parker took off and tried to kick long up towards the centre wing. Good work on the ground, though, from Hovey. Sees the ball to Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis kicks it back in towards full forward. Williamson comes out in front this time, though. Does it well. A teammate uh, takes it off that time, and Holton will kick out towards the half-back flank. A push in the back will see the Collega District Football League get the result and free kick to Russell Scott on the outer side of the ground. And uh, that siren must be very, very imminent now, surely. Scott with the kick. On the right boot, kicks it back in towards centre wing, but there's nobody at home. Meads far too late on the scene that time. And the Geelong and District mark through the agency of Reynolds. Reynolds with a chance here perhaps to make something of a, uh, a late forward thrust. All playing in front, Cockrell almost marked. Ball thumped to the ground. Opportunity for the Colic District League to clear away again from the outer side of the ground. And they do get a quick kick down the ground that time. Off the boot of Russell Scott, but the siren sounds for three-quarter time. Indeed, the mark has been taken and paid here. So we're going to 
to get a late shot at goal after the siren uh, by Nan Curvis on the outer side of the ground, but nothing comes of it. It drops about 25 metres short, so the siren score will stand. The Taco Bill score at three-quarter time, two points in it. The Geelong District Football League, 12-11-83. The CDFL, 12-9-81. Well, what a great quarter of football from both leagues, though, Smart. Yeah, both teams, they, they're they not going to lie down. It's uh, going to be a matter of the uh, a team, which is, you know, they've both shown that they really want to win the game, and it's going to be perseverance, and uh, the team that can do that uh, will, as I said, hopefully uh, run out winners. And at this stage, neither team is going to lie down. I thought uh, probably the Colic District League showed a bit of uh, G and D to stay in the game because once the uh, Geelong and District opened up that three goal break early in the quarter, the running game looked to be working. The open forward line, Boothroyd's kicked a couple of goals and things looked to be on the go. But Colic clawed their way back in through Michael Hickey. And